Hi, my name is Shari and I'm going to teach you about opera. Opera is an art form like no other. It is the purest form of human emotion through a perfect combination of words, music, and acting. By telling stories through music, operas can convey emotions in different and interesting ways. The composer, the person who writes the music for the opera, uses music to add depth and meaning to the sounds and meaning of the lyrics. The singers then take this music and bring it to life by adding emotion into their voices and acting with their bodies and faces. While music is an abstract art form that reaches us in ways other forms cannot, and drama is a concrete method of storytelling, opera is altogether different. It is abstract and literal all at once, and once you begin to understand it, you will experience an emotional level that non-opera listeners cannot imagine. To me, opera is a way to learn about the human experience. Every human emotion, from love to anger to greed to humor, is played out on a grand scale through stories and music. It gives us the chance to see ourselves in the opera as long as we are brave enough to admit it. Opera is about what makes us human. In opera, a song is called an aria, which is the Italian word for air. In this video, I will take you through snippets of two arias, one funny and one serious. The first aria we are going to look at is Largo al Factotum from an opera called The Barber of Seville by Rossini. In this aria, we are introduced to a character called Figaro. Try and figure out from the words what Figaro thinks of himself and listen to how the playful music echoes his mood. Finally, watch how the singer uses his face and body language to add another layer to Figaro's character. Well, that was certainly an ego trip. Why do you think Figaro sometimes sang on tralalas instead of words? To me, it's an expression of pure exuberance, but there's no wrong answer. It's also an excuse for the singer to show off a little. The next aria we're going to look at is called Un Bel D from an opera called Madama Butterfly by Puccini. In this aria, a young girl called Butterfly is waiting for her husband to return to her. What Butterfly doesn't know is that her husband has married another woman and will not be coming back. I'm not going to show you a video for this one because I want you to listen to how the singer Maria Callas uses just her voice to show emotion. Listen to the longing for her husband and the happiness at the thought of reuniting with him. I also want you to listen to the orchestra. The composer, Puccini, uses the orchestra in different ways. Sometimes it copies Butterfly's hope, but sometimes it sounds dark, suggesting that all isn't well on the horizon.
Take a second to think about how that aria made you feel. Did you notice how the singer used the words to add emotion to the music she was singing? Anyway, this has been my very brief introduction to the wonderful art form that is opera. I hope you enjoyed it and that you will be inspired to explore it more for yourself. Bye!